All right, we are at January 12th, uh, 2024. Let's do a quick update. What I've been up to, kind of a update, putting stuff out there. Let's see. So yesterday was the uh, SEC spot Bitcoin ETF approval. Previous day, they sent out the fake tweet, which they say they were hacked. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Uh, mainly to help their buddies buy in at a lower Bitcoin price. That's my guess. It was all inside. I don't, I don't believe anything these SEC govy guys say. Uh, seems they're a track record for all government lately. It's just lie, lie, lie. So let's get into it. Uh, what have I done? FBTC, I bought some of this yesterday just for fun. This is the Fidelity uh, Wise Origin Bitcoin ETF. Uh, they are waiving fees until August of 2024, so you can get in there and play around with it. I put just a couple bucks into this thing. I think I got in at 41, so you can see the big loser I am. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what the ETF does. I just did it as an experiment, and I kind of always learn that when something comes out at an IPO, even Coinbase came out after their IPO, any stock comes out, it, it is all run up ahead of time. And then once you buy it, it drops down, it corrects for like a, a month or two, and then it kind of slowly comes back up over time. Uh, typically, like Coinbase, Coinbase shot up. Uh, and now hopefully these stupid ETFs will. A lot of volume, a lot of interest in them from what I've been reading on these uh, news sites. So this, this is obviously new. I was impressed that they, they were ready to roll, man. Right when they got the approval, I logged into a Fidelity right on the main page boom they advertise fbtc and then i went and checked it out they had no way no fees until august and they're definitely were set up and the trade worked i went they were ready to go on this so come on i think they knew they were gonna get approved because it's one big club they all go to the the same clubs together the country clubs their kids all go to the same private school and so forth so on and we are bitcoin down which is an interesting really dropping <laughs> Which is what some people did predict, predict is uh, like with stocks, the prices run up with the news, right? The rumor, oh, it's going to be approved, a spot coin ETF. So the prices run up on the rumor. And then once the news comes out, boom, it drops. So it's, it, it's the old saying seem to work for a reason, you know, uh, rumor, buy on the rumor, sell on the news, right? Yeah, don't be like me and buy in. Again, just a couple bucks, but still interesting to watch and be part of the stupid ecosystem to see what this is going to do. Uh, we talked about Tesla in another video. And uh, yeah, I hope I got my freaking stereo mic fixed because uh, I was recording in mono. I'm really sorry about that. This, uh, I'm playing with this OBS software and it was checked, unche it was unchecked mono. I had to check it to be mono to get it to work. Go figure. Could that be a bug? Uh, Yeah. All right, so hopefully it's all better. Uh, Martin Luther King Day is coming up. There should be some interesting stock happenings next week. May maybe some major corrections because uh, Yellen's up to stuff with the bonds, I think. You got to keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, I don't know exact, but I'm just keeping an eye on that. I kind of dumped some stocks, some losers. Uh, not losers, but just to, just to get in cash for a little bit, thinking that there's going to be a correction. Just have some cash on hand, maybe to buy back in some of these things. And I think I'm going to stick with some funds now. I have a lot of dividend investment funds I've been uh, playing with over the years, but I've been moving, moving more gradually to some of these, uh, some of these uh, funds in Fidelity. I just like Fidelity because that's, that's a good one. Vanguard has some great stuff too. Uh, VTI is a good one. VOO. V yeah. And then these are some of my dividend stuff too, if you want to look at them. Starbucks is funny. Here I bought on Bad News years ago. Uh, the uh, CEO of Starbucks was, I don't know, throwing people out because they were, the homeless were using the bathrooms and he was just trying to keep his restaurants clean. Go figure. And then, oh, he got bad press. Yeah, it's like, I mean, come on, it's his business, right? So it tanked about 10 bucks a share I bought in and it's one of my best performers now over the past few years. Uh, yeah. All right, crypto mining. Uh, each CPU rig is down to 50 cents now, 55 cents. And I have the older... Uh, what do I got? AMD Ryzen 3900Xs. I'm an old dude, old hardware dude. I'm not buying any new hardware. These are like two years old now. And I bought them during the old GPU craze. I said, let me dabble in some of this CPU stuff, as you probably heard before. Why? Because they don't do much heat. They only use about 90 watts uh, of power per CPU. And they don't take out, take out much space. 
Yeah, and they don't get that dirty because I, ha I hang them vertically now, which is keeping a lot of the dust off them. And uh, but uh, I'll probably clean out the fins. Yeah, I'm looking at one now. The uh, prism fan is sucking a lot. Yeah, you can start seeing the dust buddies form. Yeah, you got to clean those out now and then. Keep them running cool. But they seem to be uh, running all right right now. Under as long as they're under yeah around sixty, I'm fine. If it gets up near seventy, then I'm gonna turn them off and clean them. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, about five eh, forty nine a day. Nothing great. Again, it's not life changing money. But the real the real trick is again try not to look at this number. The the fiat is look at what you're accumulating right here. So right now I'm up to zero point zero zero seven six, which is kind of cool. And that equates to what, 330 bucks, woohoo. Uh, that is tied to the current spot price of Bitcoin. So again, if it shoots up to 39,000 again. Oh wait, where are we at? I totally had a brain meltdown, hold on. 40, 47,000 it jumped up to, yeah, right here. 46,970, ah, 46,970, yeah. I thought it went up to 40. I think it spiked the 48,000 on the uh, fake news tweet from the SEC, then it immediately corrected. So, yeah. So, I mean, hopefully it'll jump back up to 40, uh, 48,000. You never know. Again, like, like we always joke, it could go up. Oh, it could go down. It could go sideways or it could do nothing at all. That's the same with any stock. But with Bitcoin and even like a Tesla stock, you're not getting dividends. You're not getting anything. You're just holding in the hopes it goes up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I prefer dividends in the end because uh, and and or maybe money markets sometimes too, even though it's a lower payout. But dividends, man, every quarter you get a nice check from the company you hold the stock in. Of course, the stock price goes down a few dollars, but if you're in for the long haul, boom, that's the way you you compound your growth. Uh, Bitcoin is all speculation right now, even though the ETFs are in, but people are funneling money in. It's uh yesterday and today. And then we have the bank or the bank holiday. We have a holiday Monday and then uh, we'll see what happens. So just keep an eye on this over time. You just don't know. All right. That's all I got. Just checking out, checking out the new mic or the new mic settings and then giving a stupid little update. And that's all I got. It's getting a little boring. Uh, put out a Tesla video. If you want to go buy a Tesla, go to Hertz.com. They're selling their Tesla fleet uh, for just maintenance cost reasons. And uh, the whole EV, the EV push is kind of bursting a little bit, which is probably why my Tesla's down eight bucks. I'm getting a little sick of it. I'm down about 20% of that turd too. Uh, yeah. But again, the secret now is I'm dialed in. I'm waiting to see what the market does. I'm just going to now just maybe not check it a lot. Just let it ride because I'm not going to dump a stock to incur a loss when it's such a good company. They're selling a lot of cars. So, you know, go figure. All right, go forth. Hope this works out well. Let's keep going on these ETFs and Bitcoin. Um, yeah, I kind of am thinking buying Bitcoin direct is good and all and holding it, but I can see people love the, uh, the beauty of just going to an ETF and just getting it through there. It's no need to have a wallet, no need to pay transaction fees to get the stuff moved around to a wall. People, normies don't know that crap. And it's a, sp such a small niche of people know how to do that. And then a smaller niche lose their uh, keys or wallets. And then, and then they lose all their money. <laughs> so it's the ETF thing is uh, spot on. And with Fidelity, you can actually buy Bitcoin. They hold it though. It's their keys, their coins, but you pay for it and they hold it and you can sell and trade it. You're paying a little bit of a premium, but no worse than Coinbase, which uh, on Coinbase, you can't even link an external bank account without it failing. And they want you to use Plaid, which is a third party, eh, very sketchy company that holds all your banking. Uh, authorization data? No, never, never, never allow anyone. Oh my God. I mean, the best practice to me would be change your passwords every freaking month. Uh, yeah, never use a third party app to access your financial information. It's already scary enough out there with all the cyber attacks. Just be careful. All right, see you on the next one. I'm out.